Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we are going to be taking some inspiration from none other than Wes Anderson. If you've been following my videos for a while, I've been doing a horror comic, well, just getting to the stages of getting inspiration for the horror comic. And I really like the idea of having this really pastel look and feel to it to contrast the horror aspect that goes on within it. I did this before with my other horror comic, Emily is Burning, and I just really like that style and look. So I wanna do it again. And I wanna take some inspiration from Wes Anderson because I just think that that would be really fun and cool. And he just has some really nice color schemes that I am here for. I thought I would use these jelly gouaches again because I thought that they would work really well for this idea. And there's some really nice colors that I can use, so let's try it out. Okay, so to start out with, I decided that I wanted to do two images because I have been researching inspiration on Pinterest and I found a couple of pictures that I wanted to draw and paint for sure. The first one, <laughs> I wonder if you guys can guess what I'm drawing before I finished it because as I was drawing it, or painting it, sorry, as I was painting it, I was thinking it's not looking exactly like what I think it is and I was getting a little bit frustrated because I was getting the shine and the perspective a little bit wrong but as I persevere, I think I come out with something that resembles what, what I'm trying to draw. Um, I say drawing because I feel like I'm technically drawing with paint because I'm laying down lines with paint, but painting, drawing, same diff to me, really. Um, I'm sorry if that annoys you, and if that annoys you, maybe you should go outside for a little walk. So I started out by just layering out shapes as I've done before and trying to box out the shape a little bit. I was thinking, because obviously this is all about this kind of aesthetic, this colour look that Wes Anderson has created with his pastel sort of look, I don't know if the colours I kept true to that, but I tried to be as on point and use a limited colour palette, so I'm using quite light blues and light pinks, so I hope that it comes across as that way. And to talk a little bit about Wes Anderson, because I realise that maybe, maybe one of you out there doesn't know who he is, but he is a director and he's done films like The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Life Aquatic, Fantastic Mr. Fox, one of my favourites, because it is a masterpiece that's hilarious. And he is what is considered by today's standards to be an auteur, which means that he has a really distinctive style without, throughout his films. So if you saw one of his films, you'd probably be like, hmm, that's Wes Anderson. There's this great subreddit called Accidental Wes Anderson where people post pictures of places that they've been to and they thought, hey, this looks like a scene out of a Wes Anderson film and I'm going to take a picture of it and pop it online. And it's really cool because it's helpful for me. I for inspiration. I didn't really look at it, but I just remembered it now. So if you guys want to do this kind of challenge, well, it's not a challenge, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you want to do this kind of painting and be inspired by Wes Anderson, then maybe look at those, that subreddit, or go on Pinterest and type in Wes Anderson aesthetic, and you'll probably find loads of imagery that have a limited colour palette, a very pastel look, and yeah, a very cool vibe to them, basically. So I chose this pool scene, and I hope that you can see that is a pool scene because of my horror comic idea is that there's this woman and she's in a motel. Now, I realise that that very much sounds like the psycho premise, but in my mind, how it's going to unfold is completely different. So the setting is similar for now, but the story is different except for the fact that she's a runaway woman in some way, shape or form. I haven't blocked out the entire story, but I do know that I want to have a ghost in it. A ghost or a demon or some sort of form of monster, not a murderer. And that isn't the only difference, <laughs> might I add, but it's just that's what I'm thinking of right now. So I need to go away and maybe write out a script. And then we can start getting a basis of how many pages this comic will be. But today I'm just drawing a couple of scenes or trying to find inspiration, setting the scene in my mind because that helps me bring out the story a little bit. So I start to have strands of the story and then once I start looking at inspiration or painting out images that could be in the 
book, then it starts to put the pieces of the puzzle together in the story for me. I like to write straightforward, meaning that I don't really plan an ending, but I sort of have an idea of what I'm wanting to write to with this one because in my mind I have the ending pictured out. But that can always change because when you're writing, the characters sort of tell you where they want the story to go. It sounds really bizarre and like I'm talking to invisible people, but I'm not. It's just that that sometimes happens when you write out a story and then you think, actually, maybe this should happen or this should happen. And it feels like something's just coming through you and typing it all out. That sounded weird. Anyway, I'm painting a bathroom now and I really like the way this one turned out. It's very pink and green and I really like that colour scheme together. I think it works really well and I want to um, put this in the book maybe, something similar. I definitely want to have a lot of interesting unique shots so I like the pool idea where she might be diving into the pool looking up and I have that really clear in my mind. I've even sketched out a few thumbnails of that particular panel. So this might not be the 100% look and feel of the book but it's sort of concepts for me to figure out, like I said, the story and figure out the tone and mood of the whole um, novel, graphic novel. I don't know if it's going to be a graphic novel or a short story but I'm just going to refer to it as a comic I guess. Uh, of the comic but this is kind of the theme I'm going for motel aesthetic that you know that precise late 80s maybe cheapy quirky kitsch kind of style of imagery and I think it will be really fun to play with and I think you guys agree because you've let me know that you kind of like that style I mean maybe you haven't lots of people have though so <laughs> A lot of people on my latest video said, how do I do these straight lines when I'm painting? Well, basically what you have to do is take a deep breath and picture where you want your line to go and try and keep your arm very steady and straight. That's the only tips I can give you because sometimes I'm like, how am I doing this? And you know, mid four, you have to have the confidence as well. Like if you think I'm going to mess up, you're going to mess up. You have to be believe in yourself, believe in the straight line. <laughs> And then I went in with some watercolour um, just to add on top. But obviously, because it's water based, um, it mixed a little bit with the gouache, it reactivated it on the paper, which I was like, oh shoot. But I think this shadow work kind of works nicely. It m melds the detail a little bit and it adds a little bit of a quality on a mood to it that I didn't have before so I'm glad I did it in a way but I'm also like hmm I'm gonna stop now before I smudge everything together in one big blob. I also went in with some pencils because I like to define detail sometimes with some um, Faber-Castell pencils I think they're really nice and I tend to do a lot of mixed media I was thinking about using my paint pens in this video as well but I wanted to try and see like how far I could go with just painting with gouache and I think until this point I did quite well. I used a little bit of pencil and a little bit of watercolour as well but I don't think I don't think that's cheating, I just think that's how I work. <laughs> and yeah, I tried to go in with the pool with the same watercolour um, blue shadowing and like I said it kind of just mixed the paint a little bit so I was like I'm gonna stop because this is worrying me but I wanted to show I wanted to make that area a little bit darker but I hope that you can see that that is a swimming pool and that is a bathroom if we can connect that imagery with what it's supposed to be then I have succeeded I guess overall I'm pretty pleased with the way these turned out but I think there's some details or some things that I could have done a little bit better so half pleased half half wishing that I could have maybe I don't know how I could have made them a bit better but maybe just a little finer detail maybe even doing a under sketch next time would be more useful because sometimes I just like to go ahead and do a straightforward painting I think sometimes it helps to have like those pencil lines underneath and I think it certainly could have helped with the pool imagery because I think the perspective on some a couple of these little areas are a little tiny bit off and I think that's where we're losing quality but overall I'm pretty pleased and I like the color schemes which is the whole point working with a limited color palette and I think it really works to help set a mood and theme and I want to thank Wes Anderson um, for being a big inspiration for that, I guess. Okay, 
well that is it thanks for watching guys we hit 60,000 subscribers yesterday and it is unbelievable and I would like to thank each and every one of you so much for all your support and I think you're amazing and thank you okay that's it I'm gonna stop blubbering and bye